So guys, Tech Freak back here with another video, and in my last video, I show you how to install or how to jailbreak iOS 8.3. And in the video, I didn't succeed myself, but I showed you to the tutorial to do it. All right, so finally, I found the fix for the 1101 error. Yes, finally, there is a fix, and it's similar to what we've seen before. You will need to downgrade to i to iTunes 12.1. 1.0, which is the one that works as tested by many of people that I am reliable for. I'd be leaving a link for the uh, iTunes 12.1.0 uh, download if you're 64 bit, if you're 32 bit, and um, you can just make a simple Google search and it will fix and you'll find the iTunes file. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Alright, guys, so I'm going to show you how to downgrade iTunes now from an earlier version to i to iTunes 12.1.0. So basically what you'll need to do is go ahead first and go to control panel on your windows and then go to the programs and the uninstalling programs. And first you'll need to uninstall Apple Mobile Device Support. Yep, this one right here, Apple Mobile Device Support. Just uninstall that. So I'm going to skip through the uninstalling process and I'll come back after that. Alright, now once it's done, as you can see, you'll need to uninstall Apple application support. Now I have a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. I'm going to uninstall both. Alright guys, so I skipped through that. And then next, you'll need to uninstall iCloud. I don't have iCloud, but if you do have it, you'll, ne you'll need to uninstall it. And after that, you'll need to uninstall iTunes. So as you can see, I'm going to click on iTunes and start uninstalling. Alright, and skip that as well. Alright guys, so I'm back after installing everything, so Apple Mobile Device Support, Apple Application Support, iTunes and iCloud, uninstall all four, and then go to your computer, and go to Local Desk C, go to your users, go to your username, and then go to Music, and then go to iTunes, and you'll find iTunes Library dot ITL, and you'll need to rename ITL, the extension, and uh, erase it, and then rename it to BAK, alright, and then click Yes. So that changed the format, and then you'll need to reboot. So I'll be right back once I reboot my Windows machine. All right, guys, so I'm back. And after that, you'll need to download the iTunes 12.1.0 file. So I'll be leaving a link for it down below in the description, as I said. And as you can see, I've started installing, so I'm going to skip through the installing process, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the installation process has been done. And as you can see, I can click Finish here. So this is iTunes 12.1.0. So this is the step that you'll need. So to make sure that this is iTunes 12.1.0, I'm going to go inside it and show you inside the About Settings that it's iTunes 12.1.0. So as you can see, if I go to Help, and if I go to About iTunes, this is iTunes 12.1.0.71, which is the one that we will need. So I'll be leaving a link for it down below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more. I'll catch you up in the next one. Peace.